hello, hello everyone, and welcome to my reaction to Genshin Impact version 4.8 special program. Yay! Ra, ra. I'm actually so hype, not just for Genshin, but also because Zenless started, and you know, I have two hours of Star Rail story left. I just feel like I want to dedicate a whole month to just gaming. I couldn't do that, but I really want to. Because all the games that Hoya vs is, is coming out with, they're all just like good, 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 good. And I'm having so much fun. But also with Nikki and also I need to finish Baldur's Gate 3. So I really need a whole month for gaming. <laughs> but for now, let's just relax and enjoy the special program. I, ha I didn't watch it live this time. It's an hour and a half late. -ter. Uh, but, you know, still got to be great. I will be playing Zenless on Zero sometime in this live stream. So if I'm quiet, it means I'm enjoying it. That's good. You need to focus on the beginning of that game because, well, like, you need to just follow the story nicely. But it's kind of like a comic book, which makes it really nice. But then the fighting, you're going to be so quiet during the fighting because it is so gorgeous. Like, I was 15 minutes before the stream started. I was sitting here showing Hanku the shark girls fighting moves and stuff. And it felt like I was watching like one of the episodes of Demon Slayer because the camera kept like whoosh, whoosh, and then whoosh, and then switch to the other one, and then ultimate, and then it's so fun. It looked so good, even on my phone. I played the game yesterday on my computer, but any advice on the best five star to get? I don't know, but I wanted the Neko girl, so probably you'll get her. Joey wanted her as well, but then he got the one I got, which was uh, so soldier 11 and he said she's good like a nice dps um but the bit the maid lady oh she's sexy too and all of the the five the, the standard banner five stars look really good um but definitely if you, if you can get enough wishes together try and use them for the shark girl because her fighting style is just amazing i saw a demon girl yeah the blue one yeah 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 okay uh so if you haven't started Zenless, that is your cue to do that. But for now, let's focus on Genshin. Yeah, Shark Girl! So cool! Didn't you see I told your sister that? Okay. Hey, it's Vert's Lady! <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Before we get the ball rolling, let's introduce our other hosts. Yay! Hello, everyone! My name is Amber Aviles, and I voice Emily, a famous perfumer from Fontaine. Hey guys! She sounds like what a what a a chibi character should sound like, or like Paimon or someone. She doesn't sound like I expected some Ara Ara Onechan perfume lady voice, and she sounds like so cute. And I'm the voice of Nilu, a talented dancer from Sumeru. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm Julia Gu, the voice of Kirora, a courier from Inazuma. Oh my gosh, amazing! Uh, I am so happy to have you guys here. Okay. Hi Bernard, nice to see you. That's why we're all here today. It's time for us to show off a new limited time summer map. Ooh. I can't wait to see what the developers have been cooking up this time. I haven't even seen the final version. Ooh. Well, that's what the version 4.8 trailer is for. Let's take a look. So there's no Japanese version of the 4.8 trailer, right? Hey, are you calling me cringe because I'm talking English, Sotos? Were you talking to me? Huh? I also said, ooh! Oh yeah, I can watch it from the live stream. One minute and seven seconds in. Okay, let's do that. We'll switch over. Might as well rewatch the Japanese... Wait, wait, let me just watch a little bit of the of the intro as well. Oh, this is the Oh, I thought you sent the live stream, the Japanese live stream, and I was like, let's watch the Japanese live intro, but it's fine. Yeah, that's the voice I was imagining. Wow, Vert is in love. Wow, what is she Dendro or Hydro or Dendro? 
She's green, so she has to be. Yeah. Wow. Oh, cute! A lot of flying squirrels! What? 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 What is happening here? <gasps> Nilo! <gasps> New outfit for Nilo? She looks like a princess bride! <gasps> Wow! So pretty! Oh, cute! And Kirara has a new outfit too? I don't have Kirara though. Thank you for the subs, guys! It looks like a fairy tale! Den Setsu no Yusha, a legendary hero? <gasps> Wanderer is part of it? <gasps> oh, I'm so ready for more Wanderer! Oh, cute! Look at her cute outfit! <gasps> they even have this little, it's like a bow, but it looks like cat ears. That is adorable. I love this design for her. Love, love, like 10 out of 10 outfit. Hers is really beautiful. She looks like a princess, but I still prefer her original outfit. And then, her, that's her normal outfit, right? I don't have hers, so I, I'm not, I think that's her normal outfit. And then, oh, Wanderer, yay. I want more Wanderer. That's the full live stream. I just quickly want to check who they included in the in the original, or not the original, I just mean the Japanese dub live stream. Oh, Nilo and the, uh, I forgot her name. Here we have Nilo, the cat, uh, uh, cat girl, the perfume, and then. Navia, there. Oh, they're so cute. I could just listen to them. I don't even care that I don't understand what they're most of what they're saying. さて、さて。今日のセッティングですが、なんか見てて気分まで晴れやかになってくるよね。可愛いよね。めちゃめちゃ可愛い。めちゃめちゃ可愛い。Oh, they're honestly so freaking cute. I can't. I can't. It's like I'm going to try and get when I go to Japan, there's a One Piece live event. And I'm not gonna, even if I can, can get tickets, I'm not gonna be able to understand what they say, probably from, like, it's an hour or an hour and a half show. But I don't care, I just wanna listen to them. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, so this looks like a great trailer and super fun and super beautiful. Uh, new outfits, fairy tale, wanderer, I couldn't ask for anything more. Oh, redemption codes. I also forgot your sister sent me redemption codes for Nikki and uh, I didn't use it yet. Wow, this is making me feel super ready for some summer adventures. So this is probably the perfect place to show off our new character. Yes. Oh my gosh, that, that, that was a perfect segue. <laughs> a perfect segue, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, let's introduce everyone to one of Fontaine's most renowned perfumers, Emily. Woo! Emily. Emily isn't just a great perfumer. She's also a pharmacology and botany expert. Ooh, I ship, I ship her with Snake Guy. So does, what is the Snake Guy's name again? I ship them. That reminds me, doesn't 
one of Poor Anne's voice lines mention that Emily has a true profession, an identity that stayed a mystery up till now? We'll know once we've learned more about her. She sounds like... She sounds to me like a chibi character, I don't know why. But I mean, she's not using her... Probably her character voice, maybe like her real voice, I don't know. A casual stroll after a meal aids digestion and increases blood circulation. So, would you like to join? That's a very unique weapon. Russian floral. Oof. Oh my god. Generally, I even if I get I don't like English gameplay because I'm so used to the Japanese VAs. It's not because I don't think the English VAs are good. It's just because I'm used to the Japanese. But for some reason, I really, her voice to me doesn't fit at all the character of Emily. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I mean, that's not my place to say. It's not like I'm going to be playing with her. Um, I, mm, I'd love to hear from people who play in English. Um, your opinions are the ones that actually matter. <laughs> at the end of the day, all these opinions, but I still think it would be interesting to hear if you guys feel that the voice matches the character. It's not that the VA is bad, once again. It's just like I don't imagine that voice for this character. It's a very good voice for some other characters I can think of. I'm always curious about like what kind of direction did they get. So no no. Ah! Oh my god. She's so cool. Right? <laughs> I love her shoes. Yes. So and, cool. and did you see when she smelled the perfume? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that detail. Yes. yes. She's so elegant, like just the way she moves. Like elegant, yes. Perfect. Elegant is a key word here. <laughs> I know, right? So let me tell you. Emily is the most renowned perfumer in Fon So her voice here sounds a lot more uwu cute than when she does the character. But even when she does the character... I don't know. Okay. The new products that she releases usually sell out immediately. What? Well, almost. <laughs> so if you want to get your hands on one of her perfumes, then be prepared to start lining up at 4 in the morning. Oh. Whoa. Mm. Emily has another identity on top of her trade as a perfumer. She's a forensic cleaner. Huh. Mm -hmm. mm. She's the one who cleans up crime scenes. Oh no. Uh, three. Let's go. Sorry, the. No, red again. Why Friday stream? Why? Okay, looks green. After an investigation has been concluded. She's a very experienced cleaner, so she often picks up details and scraps of evidence that other people overlooked. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. she's kind of like a forensic examiner. That's very you know, cool. Chevrous mentioned it in one of her voice lines. She said that Emily's chemistry knowledge is super helpful for uncovering hidden clues during investigations. Mm. She can tell what type of perfume that someone wears and where they've been spending time. Wow. Okay, it all makes sense now. <laughs> It's because of her forensics work. That also explains how Emily and Chevrous got so close. Uh-huh, absolutely. Forensic cleaning is a lot more dangerous than creating perfumes. Hmm. Emily generally doesn't talk about her other identity in order to avoid retaliation from suspects. Hmm. So most people only know her as a famous perfumer. Oh, Emily's probably been through all sorts of stressful situations. You're right. From like high-end venues to gruesome crime scenes. Mm. Ooh, it must take a lot of mental toughness to handle all that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And her professional experiences 
contribute to her unique combat style. Emily is a dendropole arm user. When she unleashes her, her skill, the pole looks so pretty. AoE dendro damage. Ooh, I bet that skill really wow, her really dress whooshes look so beautiful and elegant. The Lumidu's case is a creation that Emily is really proud of. It fires puffs of pure dew at nearby opponents periodically, which deals dendro damage. Oh. oh. When nearby opponents are affected by the burning reaction, the Lumidu's case will accumulate scents at intervals. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? After collecting two scents, the Lumidu's case will be upgraded from level one to level two. Oh. At level two, the Lumidu's case can fire an extra puff of pure dew. Oh. The damage dealt by the puffs of pure dew will also be increased. Only one Lumidu's case created by Emily can exist at a time. Oh, wait, does that mean it's pointless to It's like, sounds like only one Lumidu's case created by Emily can exist at a time. It sounds like I'm listening to a child. Not in a bad way, it's super uwu. It's perfect for some chibi characters. But it's just, this is an elegant perfume forensics queen. She needs that kind of voice. Will also be increased. Only one Lumidu's case created by Emily can exist at a time. Oh, wait, does that mean it's pointless to collect scents once you've already reached level two, though? Sal so says there were voice lines. Wait. I think the English voice directors have listened to fan feedback. Paimon has been less of less shrill lately. Hmm, interesting. I, although I do like my shrill Japanese Paimon, so I, I've never really heard a lot of English Paimon voice lines, so I can't really s say anything, but... Oh, no. Shrill to me suits Paimon. <laughs> She's so cute. Every two cents collected. The cologne will deal AoE dendro damage to nearby opponents. But I guess it depends on the line. When she should be shrill and when not. Enemies under the burning status will create scents. And the damage scales with the number of scents collected by the Lumidu's case. Exactly. That sums it up perfectly. Oh. After unlocking one of her specific talents, Emily will deal greater damage to enemies under the burning condition. And when a Lumidu's case is on the field, it increases the entire party's resistance to burning damage. Oh, okay. Now I understand how Emily's talents can work in a party. So, once you use her Lumidu's case to apply Dendro to your enemies, you can use a pyro skill with a different character to trigger the burning condition. Uh-huh. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. And the Lumidu's case has even more functionality. There's a noticeable difference between version 1 Paimon and version 3 Paimon. I'd like to hear a, or see a video comparing but I think because I only know Japanese Paimon, she's been very consistent all throughout, so I can't. But an English comparison video would be cool. It is funny when she's freaking out, though. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be all the time, yeah. Unleash Emily's elemental burst. The Lumidu's case will rise to level 3 and collect the existing Lumidu's case on the field. Oh, that's cool. This fully upgraded Lumidu's case will cause Scented Dew to continuously descend onto nearby enemies, dealing Dendro damage. When the level 3 Lumidus case leaves the field, a new Lumidus case will be created. Mm. This case will be at the same level as the one she collected during her burst. Okay, so if a level 2 Lumidus case is about to leave the field, then you could unleash Emily's elemental burst to reset... Is there a... You know how there's a an, an Annie list that you can check voice actors and all the characters they've voiced before? Um, is there an English side like that? That shows all the voice actors and all the roles they've had. That would be so cool. Someone should make that. Way the level two Lumidus case will be able to spend even more time on the field. Yeah, I also like listening to the variations. It seems like you really like uh, kit, but we should let travelers experiment with these mechanics. Booty, booty hill, booty hill. Like boot hills, different voices is also very cool to listen to. Everyone has their own interpretation, but. Combine her talents as both a perfumer. Oh yeah, I am the B. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay, great. Emily is an that S would be pretty cool. Amber Aviles. Uh, I am the B. Amber Aviles. Sorry if that's not how you pronounce it. I'm just trying to get myself to spell it. Is it her? Genshin Impact, Emily, so it is her. She's also voiced... Uh, 
Ashley from You Still Can't Do That on Television. An animated tribute made by fans of the classic television show. I don't know that show. Uh, Genshin, Little Sorcerer, the cat. The cat in Little Sorcerer. Although the cat isn't on the picture here, and it should be because the cat should always be on the main picture. Mm, then M Miasma Chronicles. She's Hera. I, I don't know what these is. So she's maybe like newer up and coming. Star Chaser Officer and the Visions of Mana. A Woodland Custodian. So she hasn't done it like a lot before. Um, I guess her most notable one from these would be Genshin and the Little Sorcerer. And it says here, known for Star Chaser. Visions of Mana is also a game. So she's like a gaming. Oh, pretty art. Very cool. With all kinds of sense. No sense. But yeah, I don't know any of the voices she's done. So that doesn't help me. She always manages to discover the truth. Ooh, are we going to get the chance to see her forensic cleaner side? Please say yes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes. During Emily's story quest, the Pomum de Ombra chapter, travelers will learn about the mysterious Auguste flower that has appeared in Sumeru. Travelers will work with Emily to uncover a series of mysteries related to this flower and expose the truth. I like her hair. Sumeru. It's kind of nice. Ooh, so it's exciting. unique. But especially with the little hat and the pink at the end. In the meantime, I have some other information to share. Oh, what is it? The upcoming event wishes, of course. <laughs> yes, let's go. In the first phase of version 4.8, travelers can look forward to returning events. I have two Nilo, so I don't think I'll I'll think I'll be saving. And in the second phase of version 4.8, we'll have event wishes for saving. Emily and Yelan. A new five star pole arm. Oh, that's really pretty. On the weapon banner. Wow. All right, okay. That was a <laughs> lot of information just now, so let's take a break for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. It's also the right time to show the second redemption code, anyway. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we will see you soon, traveler. <laughs> Preparing for Natlan, yeah. But Vert's for sure gonna wish for her. I want to ask him if he watched the live stream. Oh, it looks like we're headed to a new place. And if we're headed to a beautiful location, then it's only fitting to wear a beautiful outfit. Important, important. If you don't want to... <laughs> oh my god. Exactly, you are so right. And Milu and Kirara will get new outfits in version 4.8. Yay! <laughs> Did you watch the Genshin? Already, so ready. Oh, okay. Let's start off with me. I took a good look earlier and I have to say... It's totally awesome. Oh, I have to share it with y'all in more detail. Okay, look, uh, take a look, take a look, take a look. Ooh. Is there a butterfly on her back? Wow. I present to you a gift from the forest. <gasps> so beautiful. No, but I still love her original... I still love her original outfit. Uh, wait, wait. Milo original outfit. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, nothing beats this. This is just because of her. But that's the whole point of a new outfit is to be different. So this is definitely different. But if this costs like... Because this won't be a free outfit. So for me, what I'm just trying to say is I wouldn't want to buy this because I'd, I'd prefer to run around in her original outfit because it's just suits her but for those super 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 nilo fans obviously it would be nice to have both like i'm so happy that i have both for ayaka um even though in her case also the original outfit suits her more but i love her 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 unique outfit even more so in this case it's beautiful but oh i don't God, think i'm gonna get so it beautiful. but it, so she does beautiful. she does yes Rose, yes like, is the skirt being petals oh my yes. God. And this heart thing, it's yes, so beautiful. It's, oh, it just shows off her beauty even more, and I'm so happy. Oh, there's 
There's also a really cool story behind this outfit. Does everyone remember the title of the new version? Yeah, Summertide Scales and Tails. Like fairy tales, right? Oh, oh yes, yeah. Yes, yes, cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. This summer, travelers will get to visit a fairy tale world known as Simulanka. In this world, Simulanka. A new outfit and a new identity. A new identity. Awesome. Awesome. Gonna be so good. Does she mean like she's gonna play a different character? Simulanka is the new summer region. Yep. And this fairy tale world is facing all sorts of crises. Travelers will discover a giant footprint shortly after entering this world. Oh my Whoa, God. cool. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Right? You have to be massive to leave a footprint like that. Mm -hmm. oh, but we saw the thing at the end when he was fighting the Wanderer. Then you might be able to find some clues. Wow. Live in this forest, so you might be able to find some I noticed some of the animals look off color. Yes, mm -hmm. they do. Very perceptive of you. Some of the origami animals are in big trouble. The color of their paper is fading. Oh, I know, no. it's so sad. <laughs> so travelers will need to work together with their friends to revitalize the forest and help those animals solve this crisis. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I think it's about 1,300 Genesis crystals in this patch only, then goes to 1,700. What does that mean, okay. then goes to? They face these crises alone. They'll receive help from all sorts of companions during their journey in Sri Lanka. Hey, it's Kirara and her... Oh my gosh, her outfit is the best. Hat the guy. <laughs> if travelers are interested in seeing how the events in Simulac unfold, then be sure to check out the summer region during the new episode. Wow. Okay, well, since Kirara is wearing her cool new outfit, can we take a closer look? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> That's just what I've been waiting for. Yes. That is so perfect. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. <laughs> Nothing new for me. See, I love her English voice actress. It's so fitting for the oopsies. It's so fitting for the character. Perfect. For me, in my opinion. Just opinion. Across the rooftops. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. This audio. Nothing new for me. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Won't I get funny looks from people if I dress like this on a delivery? No. They make a discount for patch 4.8. Later patches, the price goes to original market. It's on sale during the release patch. Oh my god. She's so cute. Is so cute. I Yeah, no, I... I don't even have her. Is she gonna be... Is she gonna be on the... Oh, did she just say hat, 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 like a cat? Like that? It sounded like that. She's so cool. It looks like she's ready for an adventure. Hat, hat. Yeah, the color, style, Everyone's reaction is exactly my feeling. She's really giving me like a strong impression of a vigilante who comes out at night. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you better watch out. Oh, she's gonna be one of the four stars. Oh, now I have to wish. I'm just gonna do maybe some single wishes every now and then. To obtain excerpts of bliss. After you've collected enough of these excerpts, Travelers can obtain Kirara's new outfit for free. Yay! You can also get Primo gems and other rewards. Yay! Yay! Awesome! I know what I'm doing the minute 4.8 goes live. Collecting excerpts of bliss so I can get my hands on that outfit. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Get my yes! paws on that. Yeah, yeah, you can oh, definitely <laughs> count me in. I love it. There's so much to do in the new version. Cute. You think so? Well... There's even more content in the big summer. Summer tides, scales, yes, and tails. Simulanka <laughs> has a bunch of fabulous events that everyone can enjoy. Oh, really? Let's hear Meet it. the invitation yeah. criteria and invite her for free? <gasps> I don't have to wish. Travelers can look forward to four different... Am I understanding that right? And they all follow a unique theme. Ooh. The first is called Boreal Fury. Travelers will have to move through streaming currents and destroy I'm so happy. Rewards. Destroying special targets will even produce new <gasps> effects. I really, really, really You just need to make time to do the event. Well, I'm experiment with them in I I made time for gaming in cuz that's why I'm not doing movie reactions except I am doing Dune because I did some gaming last month. But the event comes out here. And then, okay, let's give them two weeks to release everything. 
So then I have a Genshin on the 4th of August. So I can do all Genshin all day on the 4th of August. By then, a lot of the content should be out, right? Pretty much everything. Your, car your Kirara is currently C5. That's nice. Oops. Excuse me. I got hiccup. C minus one. Okay, next up we have flying hatters trick. Travelers can use a flying hat to attract toy figures, allowing them to score points in a variety of different game modes. Oh, hey, it looks like a claw machine, just like the ones in the arcades. Yes. Oh. Exactly. I am still terrible with those, though. Oh, you're gonna be good at this, though. I can I do hope. this. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you for your belief in me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. The third gameplay is called Metro Cold Trials. Travel I feel like we need. I'm. Can I? Can I make a bad joke? <laughs> I feel like we need some one male energy in here because I'm just, I'm about to get my period just because of all this girl energy for real. Like it's so perfect for like the Kirara reaction because everyone's like, ooh, ooh, oh, cute, cute, cute. And it's exactly how I feel. But like I need Ito or someone in here right now. I just form two teams to complete a combat trial. Defeating opponents will accumulate power. Filling your Valor energy bar will trigger a Time for Valor, which grants buffs to your team. Oh, nice. Defeating opponents while a Time for Valor is active will earn you even more points. Oh, and travelers who take part in these three events will earn Star Sail coins. I would have liked to hear Wanderer's English voice. I actually don't know it. Fantastical fabricators. Ooh, they're leaning into all the, the crane and the gotcha. Easier for travelers to remember their journey. They know what people like. <laughs> um, so after travelers have used the fantastical fabricators enough times, they'll be able to invite Kirara to their team and claim special rewards, including Prima Gems and Serenity Pot furnishings. Mm -hmm. Oh, and travelers can display their figurines on good frames, both Ooh. inside their Serenity Pot and around Simulanka. But don't worry if you don't receive the figurine that you want. You can also gift and trade figurines with your friends! Oh, yes! Oh, sweet. Oh, awesome. Yes! <laughs> It sounds like the summer region gives I'm so happy about the free Kirara. I what else version 4.8 has in store. Oh, oh, okay. You've got perfect timing. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the events in version 4.8. All right. Yes. Oh, first up, we're introducing the Imaginarium Theater. A once blank canvas has been sitting in a corner of the theater lobby. But now, vibrant colors have emerged on its Wolfie! The permanent gameplay mode will launch in version 4.8. Nice. Five envisaged echoes challenges will become available in version 4.8. Each challenge will correspond to a designated character. Hmm. Travelers will receive two keys of echoes upon entering the challenge, and each challenge. Now that friends are relevant in Genshin, this gift event makes sense to me. What do you mean friends are relevant? Were they not before? Yes. And once you've equipped an echo onto its designated character, they'll have a unique trailing effect while they're sprinting. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Feathers. That's so cool. Oh, I thought there were leaves. Aww. Aww. If we only start off with two keys, then that means we can only unlock one challenge, right? Are there any other Ooh, ways to unlock these keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Travelers can receive one key. In the Imaginarium Theater, your friends' characters help you. Oh, so like similar to Star Rail, so they never had that. Oh. That's nice, because I've been using Sotos's... What's her name? Kafka so much and all my stuff. So take your time, everyone. There's no need to rush. It's not going anywhere. Oh, by the way, you can only complete the challenge using its designated character. You're also going to have to pay attention to the character level and friendship level requirements. The participating character must be level 90, and their friendship level must be 8 or higher. It's time to test how well you truly know your characters. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Envisaged Echoes Challenge doesn't just test how well you can use a character, but also how well you understand their skills. Mm. Each challenge has specific obstacles, and you'll that sounds be able fun. to pass if you fully master the character's skill mechanics. Oh, that's awesome. that's very cool. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so ready. <laughs> you can also look forward to a ton of events happening. Bring bang bang, bring bang bang, bring bang bang, Finch <laughs> Sorry. So lame. 
which allows toddlers to play. Bing, bang, finch ball. Thanks, bossy mom. Bing, bang, 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 bang. Oh, wait. Wasn't there also a Bossima in version 3.8? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. The Bossima we met last year was a hydroid Dolan replica of a human who once visited the Valerian. Oh, watery coffee. Yay. Yeah. She invented the earliest version of Finch Ball. The Bossima in Fontaine is her descendant. Mm. Wow. That is such a neat connection. Yeah. And since so much time has passed, I'm guessing that we'll get to experience a new kind of Finch Ball. Exactly. <laughs> Travelers will still need to launch Finch Balls in the zones in order to score points. But. These new stages will have rival finch balls. Rival oh. finch balls will make it harder to score points, so travelers will need to strategize based on the situation in front of them. Ooh, I like the new changes. I'm excited to try the new finch ball. I'll probably start in like an hour. This version also has a co-op mode. What? So you can be each other's rival finch Amazing. balls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> travelers uh, can freely choose their level while they're in co-op mode. Each level that sound that laugh sounded so funny and fast forward. Players will take turns launching finch balls, and the person with the most points after four rounds will win the match. Hmm. That sounds really fun, no matter who wins or loses. Mm. Totally. I mean, so those, there's a snake game. In uh, uh, it's not a big, it's like a mini game like this, but there's a mini snake game in uh, Zenless. I had so much fun with it. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> has made her way to Fontaine. But this time, her photo requirements aren't as strict. Travelers can easily strict. the commission requirements by submitting photos of their favorite characters. An interval timer mm. has... I didn't think it was strict before. Travelers ...to capture their characters in the perfect moment. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited That's to cool. see what all the master photographers are going to come up with. Oh, yeah. We'll also have the opportunity to meet up with Hosseini in Fontaine. And he's brought an upgraded energy amplifier with him. Wait, wasn't Hosseini studying energy amplifiers in order to graduate? Does, does this mean that he still has to graduate it? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Scientific research. I would have downloaded it now if I would have done that last night. No, but it's a mini game, so don't get too excited. But it's very cute. And he'll need our help to test it out in combat. Listen, if we can help him find the I watched the streamer play ZZZ Beta months ago and all they were doing was playing Snake. <laughs> I played that on my old Nokia phone when I was like in seventh grade or something Each party member will or eighth grade or maybe it was my dad's nokia i don't think i had the fun back then but can be used to set up ley line effectors which grant buffs in combat so the same character can be assigned in multiple parties but repeating characters won't provide motive force in subsequent combat trials so you better keep that in mind while you're forming your teams oh. okay i get it so we need to make sure that each party has enough motive force to receive combat buffs that way we can obtain a higher Yay! Score. Combat buffs, fighting! Yay! I like these events! I'm so excited! I want to start right now! Alright, travelers will have to experiment to determine the best setup for them. Awesome! Okay, is anyone else here excited about card games? Uh, I know I no. I know that I'm excited about card games. <laughs> so, new related news that I have right now. So next, let's talk about system optimizations. Wow, Sarah's on a roll today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first off, the encounter system optimizations are so good and important, but has been listening to it is like excess and counterpoints earned from daily activities can now be stored. Oh, travelers won't have to worry about them going to waste anymore. Okay, so how do we use the points that we've stored? Well, travelers can convert their long-term encounter points into daily encounter points by spending original resin. Long-term encounter points will be reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other words, the first update for a new region. That means the first reset will occur in version 5.0. Sweet! Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. You can spend them immediately. So cool. Yeah, or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives mm. travelers a lot more freedom. Ooh, mm. Also, the cooldown for all world bosses will be reduced to 10 seconds. Oh, yes! Mm -hmm. oh. I know! 10 That's seconds?! It's easier to farm materials. That works perfectly with the changes. Yeah, I was recently farming material for... Who was it? I don't remember. But then I went through all the bosses and then it said like 10 hours or something before the next reset. I was like, what? You'll be able to convert encounter points even faster now that cooldown periods are shorter. That's super convenient. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, we've also got new <laughs> optimizations for travelers who love to follow the game's stories. We will now have a one-click high UI feature. Which will a what feature? Immersive experience. We will now have a one-click high UI feature, which will hopefully provide a more immersive experience. We no, I, wait, wait, I need to hear that at normal speed. I can't, I can't understand. Wait, maybe slower. High UI feature. High UI? What does it mean? 
to follow the game's stories. We will now have a one click hide you. What is hide you? I hide the overland stuff. Oh, a more immersive experience. Okay, in addition, we'll be getting a new feature that allows travelers to review dialogue, text, and Ooh. audio in their current conversation. That's cool. So don't worry about missing out on any details. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is perfect. This is for nice. Travelers who like to take screenshots and travelers who like to analyze the dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> You can look forward to and for travelers like me who just very very much like certain voice lines and want to listen to it over and over and over again version 4.8 mm -hmm. some domains in Mondstadt and Liyue will be adjusted travelers can choose to lower their world level once they've reached world level 3 the difficulty of the license to glide quest will also be lowered just to name a few oh yes that will be so helpful for new players It'll be easier to pass Amber's gliding test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. But be sure to keep an eye out for future announcements to learn more information. Mm. Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, we still have some more information to share. But first, Ooh. let's display the final redemption code. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. dun. Well, you got me curious. <laughs> Her Japanese voice. Oh. Oh, um, Vert says because he hasn't watched it, but then he got curious, and he checked, and then he just let me know the Japanese voice for Emily is Red Hood, Utahime from Jujutsu Kaisen, and Mio from K On. Yeah. So he's looking forward to that. I don't know Red Hood. I love Red Hood's voice, and she's a Mio. Red Hood and Mio are the same person? That's some versatility right there. Wow, I'm so surprised to hear it. Mm. Uh, wow, about... Japanese voice. I didn't wait. I can probably play this. I didn't know Red Red Hood and the Mio. Not Lup. Mio. Not Kanji. Why do you keep correcting? And the Mio was the same. So ver versatile. I like the audio in these parts. So relaxing. Welcome back, Rias. Hello. Probably. All right, let's get Red Hood and Rias though, for real? No! <laughs> Sorry, there's nothing wrong with Rias as a character, but I'm Akino. I'm Team Akino. And so... I'm... I just want Akino to be the main girl, so... I'm better. That I promised. I want to be there. I know, right? Oh, super cute. Listen carefully, everyone. Ooh. Hoyo Fest is coming soon. <gasps> Yay! What, what is Hoyo Fest? For those of you who might not know, Hoyo Fest is an annual... Oh, thank you, thank you. ...all of Hoyo vs. Games. Oh, yay, that's amazing. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah! Starting in July, Hoyo Fest will host a series of online and offline events. By participating in these events, you'll have the chance to obtain Hoyo Fest. Oh my god, I wish it was like when I went to Japan and then there was Hoyo Fest stuff going on in Japan. I would freak the fuck out. Themed merch, event exclusive gifts, and both in game and out of game rewards. <gasps> Feel free to join in on the fun, travelers. That's Marketing so cool. Will be posted across Genshin Impact official accounts. So stay tuned. <laughs> so exciting. We also have an exciting collaboration to announce. Genshin Impact will be partnering with one of the largest aquariums in the world, Sea Aquarium. Hopefully, travelers will be able to participate in an entirely new collaboration experience. Hmm, I, I don't think Genshin Impact has ever teamed up with an aquarium before. Uh, let me think. It's gotta be a Fontaine-themed collaboration, right? Mm. Yes, you guessed it! Nailed it! This event will be based on Fontaine. Sea Queen, the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede, will guide travelers as they encounter marine creatures and explore the mysteries of the deep sea. Keep an eye on Genshin Impact and Sea Aquarium's official accounts for more information. Oh, I'm so ready. 
<laughs> Fish time. Awesome. Now for some out of game genius invocation TCG news. <laughs> Woo! The knockout stages of Astro Carnival, the Prince Cup, oh. come available in version 4.8. Engine Impact's fourth commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 4, will become available in version. This is a nice visual. Feature original Genshin Impact music composed by the Hoyo Mix team. Yay! This is Emily's voice actress in, in Japanese. 4.0 to 4.8 and other content. Oh, I'm so excited for it. Music slaps. Music. Oh, we can do it forever. <laughs> That was so funny, like, the music slaps! Like, it was such an angry excitement. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, it was Nilo! That's so funny that it come from Nilo's voice. <laughs> it reminded me of, uh, of Paige, guys. Did you see that the video of Paige recently? I'm sorry. I have to... I'm going to be one of those annoying people. You know those annoying people that always talk about their babies, but this isn't even my baby. Um, but where is selfies on photo? So she's learned this new thing where she like... Listen. Listen. No, not this part. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Oh my god, it sounded like Nilo just now. It was so freaking cute. But it was extra cute to me because of uh, Paige doing that thing recently. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's all the information that we have to share. Then that means... Yeah, it's almost that time again. It's time for the special program to end? Yeah. Oh. I know. Yeah. Well, is there anything y'all want to say before we go? Yes. Uh, I'm very excited for the costumes for Nilo and Kirara. They are so adorable, and I can't wait to see like their yeah. new uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm, just, I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. I like I Nilo's voice actress. Not her. I don't mean her character voice. I don't know what her character voice sounds like, but her like live stream voice. Her it sounds like her real voice. I really like that. Unbiased individual. She's got a nice voice. That, um... <laughs> I don't know. Or actually, it's her personality. I think she's got a cool personality. So, so excited too for the echoes. Like, oh, I'm so down for all of this customization and the music. Oh, it's so. <laughs> Listen, I'm just very excited. Well, I just wanted to say I'm so excited that you all get to finally meet Emily. Yeah. I really hope you like her. I know, totally. And I am super duper excited for her. A clearless summertime, yeah, very sad. Doesn't feel the so same, cool. right? I can't wait to see what happens with that. Well, Maybe she'll make a surprise show at the end of it so or something. Here. And yeah, I guess we'll see y'all It's the game. it's so perfect for Clay too because of the toys and the little origami. But it's perfect for her, isn't it? Okay, well let me just see them their goodbye. Whoa, I saw Siggy. Wait, is there more? What is this? Of course I have to hype this up. Of course! <gasps> what? She's so freaking cute! Look at her ponytail! What is she driving in? What's her name? Oh, pretty! Oh, it's it's not Lan <laughs> What? Whoa! Like he he seems to me like the look mixed with Shao. I don't know why. The three new starters. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty amazing. Who's here for the Natlan teaser? I can't believe we're already on 4.8 and one patch after this Natlan is here. Fontaine feels like yesterday. 
But why did they have this here? Is this like Japanese exclusive stuff? Why is there more Sigi and I don't get more Sigi in English? Oh, this is Japan stuff. コミケット。コミケット。PV をどうぞ Here's the preview Teiwa Studio Comicet I'm jealous Jealous More chlorine, the more Siggy Stuff, I want the stuff Their names are not out, but we know which ones are five star and which one are four star. Is the short one five star? The chibi one. Genshin Mini Mi. Oh, cute! Kawaii! The chibi is the four star? I don't know what they're saying, but I want it. It sounded like a line emoji collab or something. Can you believe this is the voice of Red Hood? Mm. I don't know what she's saying. I just heard Tanoshimi. Looking forward to it. Mori Mori. Mmm. Nee. Have fun with her. <laughs> the thing is, Sashiburi Kekko, I, I recognize a lot of the words on their own, but stringing them together in sentences is still very much out of my ballpark. Oh, so that was really good. Um, I'm so excited for all the gaming stuff to come. Oh, doggo hiding. Uh, yeah, it's going to be sad to to wait because it's going to come out uh, around the 16th. But then there's no point in me jumping straight into it, I think. I mean, I have some time here on the 21st for Genshin, so I could start it there. But I think the bulk of it... It, it takes time to come out. It doesn't release all at once. So I'll probably do the most on Sunday the 4th of August because I have the whole day pretty much open for Genshin. But actually not because I forgot that, you know, fairy tale is on. I didn't put fairy tale here on Sundays yet. So my, my August schedule is not up to date with the seasonals. But just either way, there will be a lot of time for Genshin on the 4th of August. But I'll see, I can at least get started on the 21st and see how it goes. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to upload this. And then I have like 45 minutes before I need to start with GTO. So I want to maybe just quickly log in to Zenless and show you guys which characters I got. And like there are two more character... Um, um, 
what do they like trial runs that I haven't done so I maybe just want to run around and look at take a look at things you know <laughs> okay so I'll upload this to YouTube in the meantime see you guys next time for more gaming bye